Welcome back to the video. Happy Friday. Uh, today I'm going to go over a couple things. Uh, the first thing though is the video subject and what, what's going on. Uh, this is going to be a multi-part video because I want to get in very detail in every little step of it. Uh, so today's video portion will be on the backup camera installation and the wiring through the hatch. Um, so also I wanted to thank you guys for helping me reach the subscriber goal already. We still have a couple days left in the month, of course, and um, just to say, you guys blew away the goal. It was originally set for 235 subscribers. I was like, hey, you know, we're gonna hit like 240, 245. We hit 251 as of last night, so thank you guys so much for that. Uh, and then also the big brake kit that I'm working on, uh, the calipers are on their way right now, so I should have them here in a couple days. Uh, and I will have an update video for that in the coming future. Thank you guys so much for your support. Hope you guys enjoy today's video and I'll see you guys around. Okay, so right here on your hatch, you're going to see your license plate light diffuser, right? So you're gonna have to take one off. In a nutshell, you're gonna take off your wiper blade and you're gonna have to take off the three 10 millimeters on this and you can let it hang or disconnect it. You will have to disconnect your LED bulb and you get to press out the little fitting. Now, the factory fitting, all you have to do is push this in and get this, hold on, I'll try to focus for you. Get that little clip to pop out and it will just fine, however, to install the jumbo size backup camera and all this, you're gonna have to take out some of these nuts right here. So let me see. So one, two, three, hidden one, four, and five. Now, you will not, so I repeat, you will not be taking off this bezel but with the screws out it gives you just that much room to work with which is not a lot but it's definitely a lot more given how tight this hole is so now you get that get your backup camera install the weather foam seal stuff on it and it's time to fish the wiring through okay if you don't know these have two clips at the very end to keep them secure besides the little bolts and uh, stubs. If those break, you're pretty much done. So be very careful. So go ahead and fish these through. And what you're going to have to do is you can't just plug it in like this. You're going to have to kind of fidget with it and get it, get it twisted in there. You'll get this side in and then you'll clip this side over. So. We'll go ahead and like that. Be careful. Be careful. And then you can reach around the back on the cables. This is quite difficult with one hand. Okay, so after fidgeting with it, was able to get the rear bulb installed. Now I have an LED bulb, so it didn't really like it. Um, so if you have the factory bulb, it'll probably be just fine. But now you have these wires. We're gonna route these up. Okay, so the longest cable that comes with the kit, you have to run that basically from right here in the hatch, all the way in the headliner down and you know however you choose. But the, one of the hardest things you're going across is right here where you hit the finesse the RGA 
from underneath the headliner into this. So this, you just pull up, it pops off. And the one up here, this sits, this thing was sitting around the, the lip of this. Okay, so once you get your RGA cable or the, the video cable ran all the way through from the radio area, all the, the, the headliner and all that jazz, it's gonna bring you right here. Now, what you're gonna have to do is go from underneath here, get it through this, and get through here. Now this is very important. You do not wanna damage anything over here. If you damage the seal, or this necking, or uh, you know this whole G this whole thing here, you could be potentially looking at bigger problems, okay? So, what I'm doing here is I stuffed it in the best I could. And then just like a sweatshirt, where you push and you pull, basically here. So just like a sweater, where you push, you push something in, and you pull it in, and you squeeze, and you keep repeating, and you're basically for, you're actually basically pulling it right through. It's gonna be hard to show you, but let me try my best. Okay, so the RCA is right here. I'm gonna push this and pull. And this is kind of like with a sweatshirt, a sweatshirt or hoodie where the string gets pulled out and you kind of have to fish it through without sticking anything through it. So it's almost there. Let's give him some slack. Now there is a wiper fluid hose through here, so if you really wanted to, you could take that out. I'm not sure how, if it's glued on or not, but you could take it out and then try going from there with enough finessing. There it is. Boom. Just like that. Now that's only half the battle. We do now have to get this cable partway through the hatch piece here, and we get that cable along up to meet it halfway. So the easiest way to do that is we're gonna wanna pull this through as much as we can. Clips back in. Make it some more slack. Oh, okay, sorry about that. It's the next day. Now we can actually see what's going on. In a nutshell, we have the wiring going from right here underneath the dash. I had to give it more slack, but underneath all this wiring here and along here, it goes up around the seat belt. Up over right here, goes up this, up here, and then once it's up here, I have it going all the way across the hatch and all the way up connected right here. So, the way to get that all wired through, it's a lot of patience, but right top it's not hard really getting it up here it's just getting it from here uh, to these these holes over here I just took some red wire that we had from the LED install and I just fished it through until I was able to snag it once it came out the bottom over here then I had to fish another wire From over here, let me show you. From right here. So basically, fish the wire from the top. Oopsie. Fix, uh, fish the wire from here down this column 
into, into this hole. Once I had them both next to each other, I went ahead and tied a knot to them. And it ended up looking like something like this. Just a big solid knot. Now, on the other end of the this, this particular wire is where I had the RCA cable. So the RCA cable was tied to this, and it was connected all the way to this other red wire that I ran all the way through the entire hatch. If you're doing this yourself, the best way to describe it is when you're fishing it through, if you could push it through and it keeps going, then you're good. But as soon as it gets snagged, you need to pull back and push it again. Just keep doing it until it frees itself. I did that for about five minutes and I was able to get it. Okay, and the next piece is the green and blue wire here that loops. Um, if you don't want the lines that tell you like how far or close you are, then you're gonna go ahead and cut the green cable. And then if you leave it, then you'll have the reference lines, which I like the reference lines. It looks newer, a little more fresh. Um, so there's that portion. And then on here, this is the power and ground you need for the actual camera itself, because the RCA, of course, only provides video. Um, now, you can get this all hooked up to reverse, so it goes on with, during the reverse portion. Um, that I don't know what I'm gonna do with yet. I'm not gonna wire this quite yet as well. Uh, but the best thing to do, of course, is you wanna make sure you wire all this back. That way you have as much wire for the rest of the car. Um, to make your wiring as easy as possible. There we go, guys. Well, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, again, this is a multi-series video, so we'll have more stuff on it in the future as far as the installing, the installation of the radio, the rest of the wiring, switches possibly. Uh, so I'll, I'll make sure you guys get all the detail on this as possible. Also, if you want more information on the Hyundai Veloster N model I ran across last night, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave his Instagram below. You can go and check him out. Go ahead and give him a follow. He helps support the channel, and to me, that's really awesome. If you guys are local and want to team up, go ahead and message me on here, or go ahead and DM me on Instagram as well. But thanks, guys, for watching today's video. I'll see you guys around. Stay safe and have yourself a great day.